For over two centuries, the world believed in a single, magnificent truth, that all giraffes belonged to a single species, a solitary icon of the African savanna. This single species, known as Giraffa camelopardalis, was a symbol of the continent's wild and untamed beauty. But beneath this simple truth, a silent crisis was unfolding. Asterisk this long-standing model, established by Carl Linnaeus in 1758, organized the giraffe population into nine distinct subspecies. These subspecies were defined by differences in their coat patterns, skull shapes, and their geographic location. Asterisk the differences were clear and distinct. The southern giraffe, with its large, rounded, star-like patches on a light tin background. The Maasai giraffe, with its vine-leaf-shaped, jagged dark brown patches. And the reticulated giraffe, with its sharp-edged, reddish-brown polygonal patches. These were not just subtle variations, they were unique, beautiful, and distinct. But under the old scientific model, they were all considered to be part of the same species, capable of interbreeding and sharing a common genetic lineage. Asterisk the giraffes, the true masters of the savanna, walk with a quiet confidence. Their long legs carry them effortlessly over the vast landscape. They are a powerful, peaceful presence, a testament to the power of the natural world. In the distance, a small group of wildebeest is seen, their silhouettes small and insignificant against the vastness of the landscape. The giraffes are the true masters of this land, and their journey is a testament to their strength and their Resilience, asterisk among the males, strength is tested not with a roar, but with a silent, powerful dance. This is necking, a gentle but firm contest of strength. They swing their long necks, their heads making contact with a low, rhythmic thud. It is a quiet display of dominance, a test of power that rarely leads to injury. This ancient ritual is a testament to their nature, a display of strength that is as graceful as it is powerful. Asterisk when danger approaches, the gentle giant reveals its surprising speed. The giraffe's run is a powerful gallop, a blur of long legs. In graceful motion, it moves with a surprising fluidity, its body a silent testament to its raw power. The rhythmic beat of its hooves on the ground echoes across the savanna, a warning to others and a symbol of its strength and ability to escape. Asterisk in the harsh light of the midday sun, the savanna reveals its secrets. A herd of giraffes, a peaceful presence in the heat, is grazing on the distant acacia trees. But they are not alone. A single, powerful lion, its golden eyes fixed on the herd, is resting in the shade of a tree. It is a silent, unseen threat, a constant reminder of the danger that lurks in this beautiful, wild world. Asterisk the watering hole is a place of shared purpose, a place where all the animals of the savanna come to drink. The giraffes, with their long necks bent at an awkward angle, are drinking. Other giraffes are standing guard, their long necks a constant source of reassurance. A few small animals are also seen drinking from the same watering hole, a beautiful visual of the peace and coexistence that can be found in the natural world. They are all a part of a single, vibrant ecosystem, asterisk Africa, a continent of breathtaking landscapes, the new classification has significantly changed our conservation strategies. And home to an animal that seems to defy imagination. The giraffe, a creature of impossible elegance. A silent giant, whose gentle eyes have gazed over these plains for a million years. It is an icon, a symbol of the wildness we cherish. For centuries, we thought we knew it. We studied its mesmerizing coat, its towering neck, its unique, graceful gait. We gave it one name, Giraffa camelopardalis. One single species, a unified family tree that we believe that the different patterns we saw, the blotches of the south, the nets of the north, were simply variations on a theme, like different dialects of the same language. A family of nine subspecies, scattered across a continent. But what if the story was far grander and far more urgent than we ever knew? What if these weren't just dialects, but entirely different languages? What if the single icon we thought we knew was actually a hidden family of four? For over 250 years, since Carl Linnaeus first classified it, the scientific world was united. One species of giraffe, 
This single species model was the foundation of every textbook, every zoo plaque, and every conservation plan. The nine subspecies were defined by what we could see. The reticulated giraffe, with its perfect, net-like polygons, a living work of art. The Maasai giraffe, whose patches were jagged and chaotic, like shattered pieces of dark chocolate. And the Rothschild's giraffe, famous for its white stockings, with no patterns on its lower legs. Each was a beautiful variation, but all were believed to be members of the same club, able to interbreed wherever their territories might overlap. This understanding shaped how we tried to protect them. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, assessed the giraffe as a single species. For years, they were listed as least concern. But as their numbers plummeted across the continent, from over a million a century ago to less than 100,000, their status was changed. In 2016, the giraffe was declared vulnerable to extinction. It was a wake-up call, but even this alarming new status was hiding a deeper, more dangerous truth. By grouping them all together, we were failing to see the forests for the trees. Some populations were relatively stable, while others were silently slipping towards oblivion. A silent extinction, masked by a single number. The first clues that something was amiss came not from sight, but from science. The Giraffe Conservation Foundation, or GCF, led by Dr. Julian Fennessy, had a nagging question. Why were some giraffe populations, even in close proximity, not mixing? There were whispers in the scientific community that the differences might be more than just skin deep. So, they embarked on the most ambitious giraffe study ever attempted. Across the entire continent, from the deserts of Niger to the wetlands of Botswana, they collected skin samples from 190 giraffes, representing all nine subspecies. It was a monumental effort to build the first ever comprehensive giraffe family. Tree. The samples were sent to the lab of German geneticist Dr. Axel Yankee. Here, the secrets hidden within the giraffe's DNA would finally be unlocked. They analyzed not just one, but two kinds of DNA. The nuclear DNA from both parents and the mitochondrial DNA passed down only from the mother. The team waited. The computers churned through the data. And when the results came in, they were. Staggering, the data was crystal clear. It wasn't one species. It wasn't two. It wasn't even three. The DNA showed, unequivocally, that there were four distinct, separate groups of giraffes. These groups had been evolving independently for over a million years. They were not interbreeding in the wild. The genetic gap between them was immense, as large, or in some cases even larger, than the difference between a polar bear and a brown bear. And just like that, everything we thought we knew was turned on its head. In September 2016, the study was published in the journal Current Biology. The news echoed around the world. The giraffe count hadn't just changed, it had quadrupled deso. Who are these four long-lost species? It's time to meet the true giraffe family. First, the most numerous, the southern giraffe or giraffa giraffa, with around 52,000 individuals. They are the guardians of the south, roaming the plains of South Africa, Namibia, and Botswana. Their patterns are large, blotchy, and star-like, on a background of light tan. This species includes two subspecies, the South African giraffe and the Angolan giraffe. They are a stronghold, but a fragile one. Next, we travel east to meet the Maasai giraffe, Giraffa tipple Their coat is a masterpiece of chaos, covered in jagged, vine-leaf-shaped patches. Numbering around 45,400, they are the iconic giraffes of the Serengeti, but their beauty has not protected them. Their population has plummeted by 50% in recent decades due to poaching and habitat loss. The IUCN now lists them as endangered. Further north, we find a living mosaic, the reticulated giraffe, Giraffa reticulata. There is no mistaking their coat. A perfect network of sharp, reddish-brown polygons separated by brilliant white lines. Found in the harsh landscapes of northern Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia, their population has also crashed. From over 36,000 just a few decades ago, only about 16,000 remain. They, too, are officially endangered, but it is the fourth species that faces the most desperate fight for survival. The northern giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis. This is the original species named by Linnaeus, now the rarest of all. 
With a total population of only 5,600 individuals, they are scattered across a vast, fragmented range. This species includes three subspecies, the Cordofan and the Nubian giraffe, found in war-torn regions of Central Africa and numbering only. A few thousand combined are both listed as critically endangered. And then there is the rarest of them all, the West African giraffe. Once down to just 49 individuals in the entire world, intensive conservation in Niger has brought them back from the brink. But their future remains balanced on a knife's edge. The northern giraffe is one of the most endangered large mammals on the planet. And until this study, the world barely knew it. This isn't just about rewriting textbooks. The discovery of four giraffe species is one of the most important conservation stories of our time. Why? Because it exposes the silent extinction. When we saw one big population of 100,000, we called it vulnerable. But the reality was the relatively stable numbers of the southern giraffe were hiding the catastrophic decline of the others. We couldn't see that the northern giraffe was critically endangered because its numbers were lost in the average. We were watching a species die out right in front of our eyes. This new understanding changes everything. Conservationists now know. They cannot move a reticulated giraffe to a park in southern Africa to boost the population. It would be like trying to save tigers by breeding them with lions. They are genetically distinct. It would be a genetic contamination, not a conservation. Success. Every action must now be species-specific. Anti-poaching patrols, habitat restoration, and conservation funding must be targeted to the four distinct groups and their unique needs. The fight to save the giraffe just became four times more complex and four times more urgent. The science continues to evolve. Some studies suggest three species, others support four. But the consensus for conservation is clear. We must act on this new genetic reality. The Giraffe Conservation Foundation and its partners are on the ground, across Africa, working tirelessly. They are fitting giraffes with GPS trackers to understand their movements. They are moving them to safer, more secure habitats. They are working with local communities to foster a world where humans and giraffes can coexist. In Niger, they have shown that the West African giraffe can be brought back from the very edge. There is hope. The giraffe has been a silent witness to our changing world. Now, science has finally given it four distinct voices. It is our duty to listen, to recognize their individuality, to understand their fragility. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> this is it. And to ensure that all four of these magnificent species continue to grace the African plains for generations to come. The clock is ticking, and the race to save them is a race we cannot afford to lose. In conclusion, the quadrupling of the giraffe species count from one to four, driven by rigorous genetic science, has fundamentally and irrevocably reshaped our understanding of this iconic animal. For centuries, we classified them by the beautiful art of their coats, assuming a single species with varied patterns. We now know this visual assessment masked a much deeper truth. The genetic chasm separating these four lineages is immense, comparable to that between a polar bear and a brown bear, revealing a deep evolutionary history of over a million years of separate development, shaped by the ancient landscapes of Africa. This revelation has been most critical in exposing the true severity of the threats giraffes face. The previous, vulnerable status for a single species was a dangerous oversimplification, hiding a silent extinction. When disaggregated, the reality is terrifying. We are not dealing with one vulnerable species, but with distinct families like the Maasai and reticulated giraffes, which are endangered, and the northern giraffe, which is critically endangered and numbers only in the few thousands.